Thanks very much, but uh, what do I owe you? Not for you guys. I'm a house. Hey, I appreciate it, but uh, I don't play that game. What do I owe you? Like I said, man, nothing. Anytime you guys want to stop in here and munch, you just come ahead. Look, um, I don't want to be hard to get along with, but I won't take it for free, and that's definite, OK? OK. So what do I owe you? I would see. Two chili dogs with double onion, double chili. That's, uh, buck 45. A buck 45? You're kidding. That's crazy. Willie, you're a hard man to please. You won't pay the man's price and you won't take it for free. No wonder people say the cops are so hard to understand. Yeah, but, uh, buck 45 for two hot dogs. Two chili dogs. Double onion, double chili. It's still a bit much. Hey, police, over here. Down there, she went down the alley across the way. Hurry up. Now, take it slow, mister. Who went down what alley and what? A girl. I don't know how old, 17, 18. She came in, loaded up a cot. I told it up, I bagged it for her, 1683. But when I held on my hand for the money, she's out the door like a flash, going with the groceries, just like that. Must be a beat thing, don't you think? Uh, sir, what was she wearing? Uh, uh, she had tan shorts uh, and an old kind of undershirt kind of thing with no sleeves. I'll take the car around to the other side. You go in this end, OK? OK. Hey! What about these hot dogs? Too expensive. <laughs> hall for a bag of groceries. Nothing. Three streets. She could have gone down any one of them. What's that? Her shoe. I guess she must have dropped it. Willie? Just tried to put the arm in Cinderella. Myself, I think it's romantic. Uh-huh. Well, uh, you think chopped liver is romantic. Mm-hmm. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> You know, if uh, a back gate were considered a deadly weapon, we could get this girl for attempted murder. That's not funny, Webster. It's 103 outside, and I haven't got the time or the patience to listen to little jokes about what happened to Gillis this afternoon. Oh, but you did have the time to come down here and make sure he's all right. I think that's... That's just wishful thinking, Mrs. Danko. I'm not here to wish him well or to pin a medal on him for nearly apprehending a dangerous grocery thief. Then to what do we owe the honor, Lieutenant? 
to the fact that the captain wants the new unit set up as quickly as possible, and I thought I'd better get to you here instead of waiting for you to get back to the precinct. What new unit? A unit of young officers who will be better able, we hope, to handle the number of young people who are running away from home and heading for the big city every year. Oh, you're not going to make my husband very happy, Lieutenant. How is that, Mrs. Danko? Well, oh, because if these two get assigned to a special unit, they'll never let him hear the end of it. Your husband has nothing to worry about, Mrs. Danko, believe me. Neighborhood has sure gone downhill since I was here last, you know? Yeah, well, uh, you know how they are. Some of my best friends are rookies, but uh, him. You know, I'd really like to tell you two to get lost. No, don't do it. I don't want to get stuck setting this thing up by myself. Say anything you want to, just stick around. Hey, Mike, are all these uh, kids runaways? Yeah, runaways, throwaways, hideaways, you name it. Point is, according to what Riker says, missing persons is doing zero on getting most of these kids back. How come we're supposed to do any better? Oh, uh, well, because we're on the street more, and because we're a little younger and understand these kids more. And because of an old tradition I used to see in the Air Force that I now see in the police department. Oh, yeah? What tradition? A little tradition called passing the buck. Uh, what goes up must come down. Have the elbow. Ah, uh, well, it's a long story. Combat wound. Don't knock it. Uh, excuse me. Is this the juvenile search unit? They told me downstairs. Ah, uh, yeah, this is it. I'm sorry it looks so haphazard. We're just now getting it set up. Uh, I'm Officer Danko. This is Officer Webster. Officer Gillis. Sir? My name's Sanders, uh, Arnold Sanders. What can we do for you, Mr. Sanders? Uh, Officer, you... You can find Christy for me. Christy's our daughter. She's 17, about, uh... Four months ago, she left home, no note, nothing, just gone. I know that it sounded idiotic for me to say that we had a happy home life. She wouldn't have left if she was happy, but her mother and I thought that she was. Well, that's what's so hard about this. Doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason for her leaving. Nothing at all. I assume you've considered the possibilities that your daughter didn't run away, that something could have happened to her. All right, well, that was the first thing that we went to the police with. Well, you mean you've been here before? Uh, no, no, Did, didn't I mention that? I'm not from around here. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Why do you think that your daughter's in this area? Well, she does call us from time to time. She tells us she's all right, not to worry, that she loves us, that sort of thing. And last time she called, I managed to get a partial tracing of the number and... Well, this, this was the area code. Well, you um, still can't be sure that she'd be in this area. Well, yes, she can. She's here. I saw your daughter about three hours ago. Terry, this is the chick that was in the garage. I'm sorry, sir. I, I probably shouldn't have said chick, but... You can use any word you want, officer. Just tell me where my daughter is. Well, I, I don't know where she is now, sir, but we can concentrate our search in the area, and I'm sure we'll find her soon. Well, just tell me where the area is and let me go find her. Uh, sir, this is a big city, and you're not being from here. It's not likely you'll accomplish much. What we're trying to say is that when civilians become involved in police work... You're saying that I might get in your way? That's a possibility, yes, sir. Well, then I'll, I'll just wait until I hear from you. Well, I'll get the paperwork started. Excuse me, sir. Catch you later. Yeah. Would you like to have a seat, Mr. Sanders? Thank you. You can thank us when we get Christy back for you. Afternoon, gentlemen. What's wrong? Who said anything was wrong? The smile you're smiling? Not at all. It's just a small thing I read in a report. You two checked in with Danko? Yeah. We check in with him full time tomorrow. Good, good. Well, have a pleasant evening. Hey, Lieutenant. Is that why you came in here, to find out if we checked in with Mike? 
that, and I thought you might like to hear the lab report on the shoe you took away from Cinderella. They find ink on the inside of the shoe, a very special kind of ink. Seems your Cinderella has a tattoo. A tattoo? Stand. They're looking. You think they'll find her? I hope so. We can't kill her until they do. Come on, let's get out of here. It's stifling. Okay, in the first place, I just don't see that it does any good. Well, what do you recommend? Do we let a kid take off any time he wants to? Hey, 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 we pay 170 a month for a furnished apartment and pool. Is the argument extra or included? It's included. It's not an argument. I just think that most of the time you send those kids right back to the same home environment that they ran away from in the first place, and I don't see what it accomplishes. Well, I'll tell you what it accomplishes. Parents have rights, too. Just because a kid is 16 doesn't mean that everything he does is pure and innocent. Right, but just because somebody's a parent doesn't mean that... Turn it, Jill. Turn it. What? Mistake. Mistake. Oh. Congratulations. You may have uh, just saved the marriage. Save my steak, too. Mm. Well, I might seem a little naive, but I think most of the time those kids that run away from home are just trying to find themselves. It might not be the right way, but I think they're trying to find themselves. Look, I know what you're trying to say, and it's true. But it just doesn't change what we've got to do. I mean, we've got to get them back no matter what their reasons. You mean like Willie's tattooed lady? Willie's what? Really? Oh, I'm fascinated. You look so innocent of those things. Well, it's it's not really one of those things at all. It's very innocent. We're uh, just looking for this girl who has a tattoo on the bottom of her foot. I'll try and figure that one. Well, that's easy. Medical school. There's some medical schools who buy bodies for research. I mean, they buy them before you're dead, but they have to tattoo the information on the bottom of your foot, so when the time comes... It... You mean, like it says, uh, send to so-and-so medical school? Mm-hmm. Well, only one dead. I guess it's worth a try, huh? It's really not so much for research anymore. It's more a way of keeping up our donor banks for transplants. Kidneys and corneas, mostly. <laughs> a lot of them want to volunteer for hearts. They think it's more glamorous. Nothing under Sanders, officers. I'm sorry. Uh, ma'am, would you possibly recognize this girl? Well, I'll try. But they all look alike to me. Long hair, bare feet, and they need it. I remember her. Oh, she's just as pretty as her picture. The name wasn't Sanders. Samson, Carol Samson. Ah, here it is. Carol Samson, registered two months ago, gave her age as 18 and her address 10965 Azure Boulevard, Cleveland, Ohio. That's our girl. Uh, Ma'am, could you tell me, does the medical school pay anything for these registrations? Uh, no, not really. Well, not in terms of money. What are the terms, are there? Well, you see, when they uh, come back to us after the uh, surgical procedures, we guarantee to ship their remains home. I guess they don't want to run away forever. Well, thank you. And, and if you do hear anything... Oh, you'll please... be the first to know. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, but uh, I don't think I'll be hearing anything about her. Uh, she said uh, she had to take care of herself. Had to take care of herself? Why? 
Well, she said she had to stay in good health or she couldn't get certified. Certified? Certified? I don't understand. Well, uh, Christy told the lady at the medical school that she wanted to stay healthy so she could get certified. Now, if, if we only knew what that meant, it would help. Well, you know, with the kids these days, they've got a language all their own. Uh, you young fellows would probably know more about that than I. I'm, I'm not sure I follow you, sir. Well, you know, they have phrases or fads for three or four months, and then they come up with a new one. A while back, everything with Christy was heavy, and it was tough. Her boyfriend was tough. Her dog was tough. We'd go swimming off the beach near Cleveland. That was tough. <laughs> uh, I, my guess is that the new N word is uh, certified. I'm sorry, but that's, that's about all I can think of. Well, thanks anyway, Mr. Sanders. We appreciate you coming down. Well, I'll be calling my wife uh, this evening with good news. She'll cry. We both will, I expect. Thank you. Right? Yeah. Terry? You're not supposed to wake them when they're sleepwalking. <laughs> What'd you do, forget something or remember something? I don't know. Uh, Sanders doesn't quite cut it for me, that's all. Oh, come. Cries too much. Hey, come on, Terry. He's just worried about his daughter, that's all. I know, but... guys in that spot would be trying not to cry and failing. He's trying to crying and failing that. Something, uh, something, something ain't kosher. Please have 555-9482, Cleveland, Ohio. Hello? Hello, Mom. Christy. Oh, baby, where are you? I can't tell you. They still may have the phone tap. Mama, they want to kill me. Can't you write me at least? Mama, I, I sent you a card last week. I never got it, Christy. Maybe it got lost in the mail. They took it out of the mailbox and the postmark with it. Oh, Christy. Oh, Christy. Goodbye, Mama. I love you. somebody that she wanted to get certified so we're trying to figure out is what or huh. at what or for what oh what do you got so far well we got certified public accountant teachers are certified welders have to be certified raw milk certified only i don't know what that has to do with anything can't blame you there where's webster i thought he was in on this with you well he is but uh something's not sitting right with him and i i know him well enough to know when to back off Hmm. Well, let's see now. 
Young girl would want to be certified for... Scuba diving. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Dive shops conduct safety courses all year round. You take the course, you pass the test, you get a certification card. Most dive shops won't rent equipment to an uncertified diver, so check the dive shops. How did you know that, Lieutenant? Is scuba diving your hobby or something? Nope. Never been. Wouldn't go if you paid me. And how'd you know? Because there's one thing a cop does better than anyone else in the world. He listens. He listens and he remembers. If he talks in his sleep, he'll remember what he said the next morning. He listens and he remembers facts, weird, dumb, dopey things the average guy couldn't remember in a million years. Example. The first Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court was John Jay. Example, plane hijackers are usually impotent. Example, a sergeant named Eddie Riker once heard a guy say scuba divers have to be certified. So he filed that away, hoping that someday it might pay off, and uh, maybe it did. You don't have to do that. Yeah, we know we don't. That's why we want him. Well, gee, if I'd known that, I would have had dessert to Cleveland girl just called her mother. She's still here. They're ready for our side. Once more into the breach, dear friends, once more. You know, I remember reading somewhere that seven-eighths of the world was underwater. Beginning to think that half the population's underwater, too. Well, there are only three left after this. Let's do it. Okay. What do you gentlemen want? I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Suppose I mind. Suppose you do. All right. What is it? Well, uh, we'd like to know if, if you've seen this girl in here recently. What do you want with her? I'd like to talk to her. About what? Some dippy grass bust? That's what you guys are really hepped on, isn't it? Busting kids whose only crime is trying to get their heads straight? Sending him up for five years, something like that. While organized crime bleeds the average citizen dry. Look, we're not gonna bust her. She's just run away from home and we're trying to find her, that's all. So I say if the kid wants a split, she's got a right to split. Willie, I don't care what Riker said, we gotta tell him. We can't always go by the book. What? Look, you don't want to get into this? That's fine. You want to turn me in? That's fine too. But we're not gonna get anywhere unless we level with people. Now the guy's hip, he's got a right to know. Uh, okay, whatever you say. Uh, look, man. You think what you want to think about cops, I'm not going to try and talk you out of anything, but... The fact is, the kid's mother's dying. Now, like you said, maybe she's got a right to split if she wants to split. But she doesn't know about her mother's condition. Now, don't you think she also has the right to say whether or not she wants to see the old lady while she's still living? How, uh, how long she got? Three weeks, a month at the outside. So, uh, can you help us? Or should I say, can you help that old lady? Yeah. Yeah, she's been in here. She took a scuba course from us. 
were old about three months ago. Let's see. She gave her name as Carol Sampson. No address, but she, she gave a phone number. May I see that? Yes. Yeah. May I use your phone? Yeah, right over there. Could you tell me, did she ever get certified? Not according to this. Are you a diver? No, I just know a guy who's got a good memory. Either she's not in or else it's a pay phone. Why don't we roll by this precinct and check it out? Okay. Hey, thanks very much for your help. Yeah, sure. You, you let me know how the mother makes out, huh? Okay. Ah, one thing more. There's a swim class at the end of Baker where we have some of the certification tests. There's a class going out there this afternoon. She might stop in. You, you want me to call you? No, thanks. We'll check it out ourselves. Anything you say. Let, let me know how the mother is, though, huh? Yeah, as soon as she gets back from Lourdes. Half hour left. Back to the barn? Yeah, get Mike to check out that phone number. I think I'll drop by that swim school later on, just in case. I just wanted to talk to her, that's all. Well, they won't be back for another half hour or so. Okay, I'll wait. Do you have a phone around here? A what? A telephone. Yeah, it's right up there. Okay, thank you. Oh, is this Mr. Sanders? This is Officer Gillis, Mr. Sanders. I've got some good news for you. There's no way I can tell you how happy I am to hear that, Officer Gillis. I'll be right there. Um, the romantic glamour of it all? You know, it's very nice of you to come all this way just to bug me. A lot of neighbors wouldn't go to all that trouble. Don't worry about it. It's no trouble. Besides that, I'm here on official police business. I got a message from Mike. Uh, should I stand at attention? Huh. Um, now, he said you'd know what it meant. He said the phone is a pay phone located on the east side of the dock area. Mm, figures. That's where we were the first time we saw her. Hmm. He also said you were bugged about something, and I should try to find out what it is and try to help. Your husband is a worry ward. About people he likes, yeah. Thanks, Jill, but I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm bugged, but I don't know what it is. 
Well, that makes a lot of sense. No, no, I mean, uh, well, it's something you hear the older cops talk about. They talk about sensing something, about uh, picking up bad vibes. That's just what I've been doing for the past three or four days. Something not right about our looking for this girl, but I just can't put my finger on it. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Don't know what you could tell me. Hey, you know, you really shouldn't use this stuff. I read an article that says it's the worst polluter on the market. Okay, Jill. The very next time that I go to the market, I'll be... What's the matter? Pollution. He said they went swimming off the beaches near Cleveland. That means Lake Erie. And there's no swimming off those beaches because the water is too polluted, and I'll give you ten to one that he ain't her father. Policeman. And I'm Bell Lugosi, so what? Hey, here's my ID. Come on. Is that you? Yeah. Yeah, he's fuzz. I'm just gonna try and get you back home, that's all. Home? Yeah, home. Your mother and father are very worried about you. My father? Yeah, your father. What's so amazing about your father being worried about you? Nothing, except mine's been dead since I've been nine. That's what it comes down to. He said he was a father. You bought it. Well, it's my responsibility, Lieutenant. Well, don't be so eager. You're not the only one who was assigned to this unit. Yeah, well, Terry always thought there was something wrong with the guy. Well, then Terry should have acted on it. I told you so. is isn't going to mean much help to us now. It's the reply to our teletype to Cleveland. Thank you, buddy. Missing person's report ever filed on Christy Sanders. Her mother refused to talk to police except to say that her daughter was visiting friends with the mother's permission. Is there anything there about a father? Father deceased, 1963. No remarriage. 
Mike, you made a mistake. You get a piece of the blame, so does Webster, so does Gillis. I'm in charge of you, the captain is in charge of me, and the commissioner is in charge of him, and every mother's son of us gets a piece of the action. You don't get all the credit when you're right, you don't get all the blame when you're wrong. That's the only way all of us can ever make it. Lieutenant, you asked me to check out that swim school. Before I could call out there, they called in to report gunshots in the parking lot. There's two units rolling on it now. Make it three. the school uses as a repair shop. This is where you've been staying, huh? <sighs> Thank you. Remember in all those old westerns when a guy'd get hit and he'd say, uh, it's just a flesh wound, I'm all right. Let me tell you, flesh wounds really hurt. All the comforts of home, huh? I guess so. But not really. No, not really. How long have you been living here? About three months. Why? Well, I read that a lot of hotels in Hawaii give lessons in scuba diving. And I figured that if I could get over there, I could get a job as an instructor, and I... I... Christy. No, that's, that's not what I meant. And you know it. Hey. Hey, let me... Let me tell you what I know about you so far, okay? I know that, that you ran away from home. And I know there's somebody after you. I know you bandaged my arm. And I know that I, I want to help you. Hey. Trust me, okay? Nobody got a license number, nobody saw which way they went when they hit the highway, but the only thing anyone is sure of is that they did not head out to sea. Yes, sir, it's up to us. Highway patrol notified? Ten minutes after they left. That uh, ten minutes could be enough to get Willie and the girl anywhere within ten miles. What about that phone booth? What phone booth? The girl left a number at one of the dive shops, phone booth down by the pier. That's not much. What else do we have? Major Red practice, and it was getting late, so I, I took a shortcut home through the railroad yard. I saw two men standing on one of the bridges, and they were carrying a third man. They lifted him up over the railing, and they started to drop him over the side. I screamed. They saw me, and I started running. I got home, and I told my mother what I'd seen. Just then, we heard a car pull up outside, and a man came to the door. He said he was from the police department. Uh, I don't understand. Did you call them? No, that's just it. So I told him that I'd be right out, and I went out the back door straight to the bus terminal. Why not go to the police then? Because he might have been a real policeman. And if the police are involved in this... Christy. A guy can buy a phony badge for trading stamps if he knows where to go. The odds are one in a million the guy was a real cop. One in a million is one too many when we're talking about my mother's life. They'd kill her. I know they would. Oh, no, they wouldn't. You're just, you're just afraid they would. 
You're as conditioned as the rabbits in the runway. The what? The rabbits that, that live out in the runway at the airport. Jets taking off five feet above their head, and they never react. You know why? Because they're born deaf. All those years of noise did that to them, and all these months of running have done the same thing to you. You're as deaf to reality as those rabbits. If either of you guys has any ideas, I'd be happy to listen. Shh.
get out of that car and leave. to meet Christy Sanders. Christy, this is Terry Webster. Hi, Christy. Hi. Mike Danko. Hi, Christy. Hi. May I ask you a question? Sure. What's your name? See me, Lieutenant. Yes, kill us, I did. Come on in. This came here this morning addressed to me and concerning you. So Christie's mother, thanking you profusely for finding her daughter and getting her home safe and sound. Thanking you, as a matter of fact, uh, to the tune of that check inside there for $500. Uh, sir, uh, this money, I don't suppose that I could keep it. That is correct, Officer Gillis. You are not allowed to keep one red cent. Well, it was nice while it lasted. There is one thing you could do, however. You could write Mrs. Sanders expressing your regrets at having to turn down her kind gesture. That'll be the easy part. Going on to point out to her that contributions can be accepted by the Department Recreational Fund. Mm-hmm, I see. That's, uh, that's very fortunate for all of us, then, isn't it, sir? Yes. By taking this course of action, you might benefit your brother officers. Uh, sir, um, I have a brother who's a dentist, but... Uh, Gillis. Okay. Okay, I'll, uh, write the letter. Good. I know you do the right thing once the situation was explained to you. You can go now. Gillis? Oh, sir, I was wondering why Mrs. Sanders sent the letter to you instead of directly to me. Because she knows who's in charge, Gillis. Yes, sir. You would have told me about that check if it came addressed to you, wouldn't you? You bet. <laughs> 